The idea is you could draw something on a computer and print it out into the real world. So how does it work? Well, you start with a 3D model on a computer, and then clever software cuts it up into very thin slices, which are passed one by one into a printing chamber. The printing chamber then scatters a layer of plastic or metal powder onto the floor, and a laser melts that dust into the shape of the first slice. Then another layer of dust is added on top, and the laser melts that into the shape of the second slice, and so on, until your model now exists in the real world. The technology has been around for some 30 years now, so why is it only now that industry are taking it seriously? Well, in manufacturing, the traditional way to create a solid component is to start with a great big block of metal and carve and grind away of up to 90% of what you don't need. This is very inefficient. Sure, you can recycle the waste metal, but it costs a lot of money and a lot of energy to make that big block of metal in the first place. <coughs> and you're also limited to crude 3D shape because of the tools and machines in your factory. With 3D printing, you only use the material that's actually in the model, no waste. And you can make really complicated structures because you don't have any tools. So why is that so important? Well, look at this bracket. I took it off an aircraft this afternoon. Don't panic, I'll put it back. It weighs nearly a kilogram, and the simple design means it has lots of right angles. And that's bad, because it concentrates the stress at specific points. This bracket was printed with a 3D printer. It weighs 300 grams, and because of the 3D printing, we're able to replace the, the right angles with nice, complex curves, which distribute more efficiently the stress across the whole bracket. Not only is it 60% lighter, it's 40% stronger. Now, in aviation terms, that's huge. For every kilogram of aircraft you put into the sky, it costs you £2,000 a year in fuel. Just by changing to 10 of those brackets alone, you would save 12 grand a year. Very nice. 3D printing is also used in medicine to print out spare teeth and bones and hips. Teeth and bones and hips. Oh. See, teeth and bones and hips. Uh, because the 3D models are based on CT scans taken from the patient's own body, they're perfect matches. This technology is changing and increasing all the time, becoming faster and more complicated. Because um, in the, when you watch films these days, you often get anti-piracy adverts that say you wouldn't steal a car, so why would you download an illegal film? Well, and I've always said, well, that's because you can't download a car. Well, I'm not saying you should, but with a 3D printer of the future, what would stop you? 